Hey guys, welcome to my channel. How is everybody doing today? Today we are going to do a design your garden. And it's a toolkit to help you learn how to design a nice garden. It has 150 reusable stickers plus a design board. Very, very colorful as you're going to see here very soon. I'll give you a close up. Very nice. You hear the birds outside. Isn't that beautiful? They all talk to each other and warn each other when something's coming or whatever reason they have to speak to each other. So this is from Benjamin. So thank you so much, Benjamin. This was such a great idea. So everybody say thank you to Benjamin down below. He thought of this on his own and sent it and thought it'd be a great idea and I agree with him. Over here is a pocket filled with the stickers and it also has the design board too where we'll be able to put the stickers on and make our garden. But if this is actually such a really nice book, it's a step by step guide. plus 128 profiles of the most popular plants, which I know here in Florida, it is so hard for me to keep my plants because it's so hot. So I notice in here there's some that love direct sun. So, you know, maybe it's gonna give me some good tips and you. It's a nice thick board or a nice thick book. Look at all these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful plants. The yellows, the pinks, the peaches, the purples, the green, the blues, everything. Look at it. So pretty. And here it tells you how to use this toolkit. beautiful, beautiful plants in it. And it gives you such good information. This is actually such a nice book to have. Really, if you're a gardener or if you're not and need to know what would be good in your area. Like this says full sun. This is partial. Full sun, partial shade. I mean, it's really, really good to know all this stuff. Oh, that is so neat looking. I try so hard to have a little garden, but it never lasts. Look at how they bunch them all together. So nice. This is such a pretty colorful book, it really is. The key, key, sorry, to a beautiful garden. Color. 
using color effectivity. It gives you so much to learn and to help you with making a nice garden. I'm actually gonna use the toolkit and we are going to do a little garden together here. Designing a planting sun or shade. Tells you full sun, partial sun, full shade. There's your go. Choose a palette of all season plants. It's just really, really nice. So guys, how about we work on a garden together? I'm not sure exactly where he got this book from. Maybe he could let us know. I can't remember if it was off Amazon or not. I'm sorry. I never heard of a bee palm. That's sticky. Look at here, goat's beard. I just think this is a wonderful book. Mexican feather grass. I think I've seen that before. Of course, I've seen lots of ferns, but I mean, it's really nice that it gives you all this to work with. So guys, Nice, nice envelope here, pl clear plastic. And when you pull it out, it keeps everything, you know, secure in there. And you pull it out, and there you go. Here are all the reusable stickers. And this right here is what we're going to use to make our own garden. See the grass and the dirt and the sky. So give me just a second, I'm gonna raise the camera just a little bit so you get the full picture. And then we're going to look at the stickers and we're going to build our own little garden. Superflies garden. <laughs> okay guys, here we go. I have the stickers here. We're going to look at some of these. Oh, look at all the vibrant colors. Even the greens are beautiful. Look at this. And these are reusable stickers. If you see one in here that's your favorite, let me know. Look at the blue on there. Look at this. Look at that. Plants are just so beautiful. I mean, oh, it even has a little pot there. Where you could put a plant in a pot. That's pretty. Look at here, guys. And this is so nice. Wow. I think some of my, I, I love roses, but they never last long for me if I get roses. So I always say to my husband, get me carnations or other flowers that will last a little longer. I'll tell you what just caught my eye are these, look at here, so pretty. And this is nice, thick, very thick papers. So, 
we are going to try to put a few plants down that catch my eye and I hope they catch yours. Look at this beautiful new moon. It's a bearded Irish. Irish. <laughs> Sorry. It says so. We are going to put these to the side here and I'm going to try to pick some plants here and there. We're going to see how this works. Okay, you know what these remind me of? When I was a kid, <laughs> they had these toy sets where there was a person and you could take put clothes on them and change your clothes, but they were made out of cardboard and these are just stick to the paper, but you could peel them back off, see? because they're just like plastic. So it just really comes back off. So that's really neat. So we'll put this one here. We're gonna have a garden filled with lots and lots of flowers. And I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna take one more off this page because that really catches my eye too. This is a nice thick. Look at there, isn't that pretty? So let's go to, we're gonna try to take something off every page and I'll bring the page over as I do it. There's just not enough space here. Wow, too many to pick from this one, way too many beautiful colors, but this definitely catches my eye. And this, because I love peach. But I think we're going to do this one. We are going to have a beautiful garden, guys. We'll put this one right next to this one. And on our next page, We will do, I don't know, what, do you want to do a rock? So we have a rock there, I think so. Because every garden has a rock in it, right? Or has rocks. We're going to put a rock right here. So on the next one we have here. Oh, that's a other beach one. It's really pretty. Look at the purples on here. Really nice. So... Let's do a, this looks pretty different, a woodland, I don't know how to say the other word, so we are going to put him right here, or her, we don't know. <laughs> so, that was really nice. Here's the next sheet, wow, look at all these beautiful colors, those look almost like, um, daisies a little bit in here. Look at the color of this one. That's really nice. And a nice green bush here. Or a green plant. But I think we're going to stick with this one. We just peel it off. Like so. And we are going to put it over here. I think we're going to put it all, all the way on the end. So, on the next one, I don't know if I'll be able to pick one from every one because I'm running out of space, but wow, this has some nice color. I love this one and this one. Let's see, I think I'm going to do this one because <laughs> it's so different. As I said, I, there's some of these plants I don't, I'm not a big plant person. I mean, I love plants, but because I can't grow them too well, I'm, I don't do too many. Look at all, look at all these beautiful colors. 
That's a good thing. If I make a mistake, pick it up, move it back down. Look at all these colors. Aren't they such beautiful, beautiful colors? And it looks nice with the background of the sky and stuff. So, and you could probably, I'm thinking, maybe move some around. Let's see. Does it have to be? Let's try to move some lower. Yeah, see, that looks okay. We'll move the bigger, a couple bigger ones lower to fill in all of the... There we go. I think that's better. We'll do some more down low to where we can fit it in there. Now on this one, of course, because there's a pot, I'm going to have to use the pot because I think that's a very pretty pot. <laughs> so Let's put the pot somewhere. What do you think? Maybe we'll set it right here. For the pot. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Wow, look at the vibrant colors on here too. I mean, this just does not cease to amaze me. What do we want to do? I think we're going to do one of these. It says Angelina Creeping Sedum. I'm sorry, I don't know much here, but I think we'll do this more down low here. Look at, look at that. I think this is such a wonderful idea. Oh, 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 we see a bird bath. So obviously I'm gonna add a bird bath. This garden's gonna be beautiful with all this neat stuff in there. Where would we wanna put the bird bath, you guys? What do you think? Maybe right here, you think? Yeah, I think so. And all the birds could come. <laughs> And check it out. But look at these big bushes. I like this too. Isn't it neat looking? But let's get one from every one. Then that way we can see if we could add more to it. The thing, okay? Uh oh, look at here. A birdhouse. <laughs> so we know obviously I'm going to put the birdhouse on here. So, we want the birdhouse to be in the middle of the garden. Then they could go over there and take a bath. So, there we go. There's the birdhouse. Here's the bird bath. The bird bath looks a little crooked to me. I'm sure a lot of it's crooked. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at these. Some ferns. That's Nikki. Big ear lamb. Big ears lamb ears. Feather reed grass. What do you guys think? I think we're going to do a fern. This is going to be a beautiful garden by the time we're done with it. I'm sitting at my living room table, so look at here. Isn't this so pretty? And once again, you could take the stickers off and you could do whatever you want. This has definitely caught my eye. Right here. We are going to add this right here. Beautiful. This one too. These are mo black mongo grass. Wow. So let's see the next one. This is, these are so pretty too. Look at these big, big bushes. I don't think I have room for the big, big bushes. So we are going to add one of these. Isn't that so pretty? He's halfway off. Get on there. That's so pretty. I didn't know it had like a rock and a birdhouse. Okay, we're towards the end, so we'll be able to put other flowers on there too. I should have put some big ones on here. <laughs> but let's see where we could put this one, maybe. 
right here. Okay, let's go through and add a couple more little things. We gotta look for some smaller ones. So, I love this color too. These bigger bushes are pretty too. Maybe I could squeeze one in there. What do you think? Let's see if that will fit in there. That's good enough for me. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? That's so vibrant. Sorry. <laughs> Such a vibrant board, honestly. So nice. some teeny tiny ones here so let's look for some smaller ones that we can put there here's a nice little small plant somebody's mowing their grass I'm sorry no matter what day I do this on there's always so much noise so let's see, let's put a plant right here. Okay, let's find a couple other small ones that catch our eye. This would be great to do with your kids too, honestly. This is a nice, oh these are, this is beautiful too. This Mexican feather grass. See if we can find a spot for this. Sorry, when I hold them all, it's hard to get it off. Let's see. I don't know if I have room for that. <laughs> we'll just put it right there. That is neat looking. That really is. I just think this is a wonderful idea. And I love the color in here because it has the green, yellow. And a couple other colors. So we'll squeeze him. Oh, I already have one there. Okay, but you, that's a good way to show you. You could just put it right back in its spot. Just like that. So this would be great for kids if they're interested in the plants. Oh, I like this. You know, you can sit down and create a garden with them. Your grandkids, your kids. Look at here. Wow. Well, that's a pretty full garden, I think. And I think that's beautiful. What do you guys think? Do you think that's pretty? All these plants, you can just put there. And you can probably put a flower in a pot. And I think that's so nice. That was such a great idea. And if you are done, you can fold it up until you're ready to use it again. Take your stickers off, put them back in their corrective spot. I just think that this is so pretty. I'm gonna right now put it back in the book and I'm gonna put the stickers away later off camera. So you would just put everything back into that spot. Oh, your stickers. Here's the book. And I like that it keeps it all nice and secure in its own little pocket. in there so you don't lose anything. And you just tie it up. What do you guys think? Make sure that you leave a comment down below in the description box or down below in the comment section. Look at that. 
Oh, that would have been a good idea right there. Look at there, guys. Just, you know, put a whole bunch together with the pot. This is, that's why I like this book, because it would give you a lot of ideas to do. And especially if you have somebody that's interest, interested in plants, like I said, this is great. But that would have been a good idea, too, or how they bunched it together. I spread it apart, but you could do it all bunched together, or apart, whatever you want to do. Even though I did see it when I was looking through it, I forgot about it. But I just... Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, leave your comment down below, and make sure that you click that bell so you know when I'm uploading a video. This is Design Your Garden Toolkit. It is such a wonderful idea. Thank you for thinking about it, Benjamin. know that each and every one of you means so much to me. You really do. If you guys weren't so important, I wouldn't be doing this. If you didn't mean so much to me, and you didn't show me all the love and support that you guys really do, all your beautiful comments, and just all the love and support I get from you guys means a lot to me. It keeps me going. Definitely, definitely love, love, love reading your comments, so make sure.